Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. This is Nicholas Zark signing in for Clean Technica. When you first step into the Hyundai Sonata Hybrid, and later on we'll see the plug-in hybrid, you're greeted with a very spacious interior. One of the niceties that I've liked so far is the seat moves back so that you can in, get in and get out um, easily. Once you want to start the car, you press on the start button and the seat pulls you up. At this stage, the uh, multimedia um, infotainment system comes on. Press again with your foot on the brake and the car starts. Now in this case, it's a little cold. I know it's California, but it's still a little cold for us. The engine comes on and starts to charge the battery. Now this is the great thing I found about this car. It's a smart hybrid. It's not a passive hybrid at all. It will, um, in many ways, and, and in sometimes, it will act as a series parallel. In other words, the electric motor will drive the front wheel, but the engine will recharge uh, the, the, the electric battery. It doesn't happen a heck of a lot of time, but it's a hybrid, and it does that, and I think that's actually a great thing. It really helps uh, to save on gasoline and, of course, all that kind of good stuff and everything. I... Um, I'm putting on the front defrost because we had a little bit of rain here, it's a little bit cold, but uh, let's take it out for a spin and I'll show you what's happening. Right now, um, next to the uh, selector right here, we have the button to select the different uh, drive modes and as you would expect, we have the eco mode which lets you drive in EV mode as uh, much as possible. We have the normal mode, of course, a little bit of a, a better throttle response and of course the sports mode, the car becomes much more aggressive. Um, one of the things I really liked about this car also is the chassis is actually really tight. It's a nice car. It feels good. It handles well. So we'll start in eco mode and um, I'll show you the display is very simple, very easy to use. We'll just click on the hybrid to let you see what's happening. I hope you can see it, but basically the motor is right here, the battery is right here, the electric motor, so the engine, the gasoline engine is in the front, the electric motor is in the middle, and the battery is behind. And as you can see right now, the engine is charging the battery. Great, let's take it for a spin. As you can see right now, I don't know if you can see, but the electric motor is driving the wheels while the engine is powering the battery. And I think the reason why it does this, especially on a cold day, relative cold day for most of you, I'm assuming, is that the car feels that I'm going to be using a lot of electricity. In other words, I can use the electric um, seats, the electric heater for the seats, the electric heater for the steering pad, which by the way, I thought it was a wimpy thing to have, but as I'm getting older, I'm starting to really enjoy this a lot. The gasoline engine is driving the car, as you can see, with the blue arrows going to the wheels while charging the battery at the same time. As soon as I step off the accelerator, it stops and it recharges the batteries, so the electric motor becomes an alternator. So as you can see right now, we're only driving on electricity. The EV mode comes on and you see a bright green EV uh, display right here and the speedometer. If you know how to feather foot a car like this, you can drive it on electricity alone. So what I mean by feather footing is don't smash the accelerator. Right now, I'm driving on electricity. I start out in the morning by with about 37 and a half miles per gallon, but it easily climbs up to 38 plus, 38 and a half, sometimes even close to 40 I've gotten. The electric motor actually has a nice kick to it. And it almost feels like it's going through a gearing system, which I'm really um, intrigued to find out how they managed to do that at Hyundai. One of the great things I love about driving a smart hybrid like that, and pretty much any hybrid, is you let off of the accelerator, the battery pack recharges. The electric motor turns into an alternator. And this is a nice feeling you just don't get with a gasoline car. It's all that wasted energy of braking and stopping the car goes into the battery pack which can, which can later be used again to accelerate. It's just a great feeling. Of course you get that with a pure electric car, but for those who are still skittish and still still on the fence, this is absolutely a great feeling. The infotainment is pretty well thought out as you would expect, and if you're used to Hyundai's, you won't find too many surprises here. I particularly like the performance, the performance display here where it tells you when the engine is on, when the how much the battery has, and when the electric motor is uh, driving the wheels. And it'll show you by little green arrows 
going towards the wheels, meaning the electric motor is powering the wheels, or when the engine recharges the battery directly, or when the engine recharges the batteries and spins the wheel. We hope you've enjoyed uh, this segment. Stay tuned for the plug-in hybrid. Check us out on, uh, on our social media uh, networks, but also let us know what you think of the um, Sonata Hybrid. If you happen to have one, we would love to hear what your thoughts are. Our impression was that Hyundai did a heck of a great job here, but we'd like to know from you guys using it every day and everything. In the meantime, from Clean Technica, this is Nicholas Zard signing off and wishing you a wonderful time.